Hey, Margo. Hi. I'm so excited to be here at this beautiful cottage asking you 73 questions. Yeah, of course. Margot Robbie has established herself as quite the leading lady in Hollywood, claiming her place among the top earning female actors of today. And aside from her film career, she's also pretty established in the world of real estate. According to records, she picked up her fifth property in Venice Beach not too long ago and calls a beautiful Hancock Park house home most of the time. Today we'll take a look at those spots, as well as some of Miss Robbie's other properties. We even found some of the listings. Margot Robbie is an Australian actress and producer who's received nominations for two Academy awards so far, and she's also ranked among the world's highest paid actresses as of last year. Although she was acting in Australian films and some TV roles, her breakthrough wasn't until her role in The Wolf of Wall Street. Since then, she's landed a ton of starring roles and received critical acclaim for portraying figures such as Tanya Harding, Queen Elizabeth I, Sharon Tate, and more. Online sources report that Margot's current estimated net worth is at about 22 million US dollars, which is a pretty accomplished amount for someone who's only 30 at the time of this recording. Now, if you guys think you've already seen the actress's home thanks to Vogue's 2019 73 questions interview with her, then you might be surprised that what you were actually seeing was a decoy house. That beautiful cottage is actually owned by Stone Cold Fox designer Sidney Morris and nicknamed the Fox Elope. The house even has its own Instagram account. However, Margot's real home is not too different and I'd say it's just as fabulous if not more so. Hey guys and girls, it's Kara bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today we'll be looking at the homes of Hollywood actress Margot Robbie in including her new spot in Venice Beach, her main house in Hancock Park, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Robert Pattinson and Miley Cyrus and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Most recently, Margot picked up what was said to be her fifth property, a mini compound in Venice Beach, Los Angeles. Records show that in summer 2019, the off-market deal closed for $5 million. Details on the property are slim, but it's located in a desirable part of town within the Oceanside neighborhood. Exact figures of the house aren't readily available like square footage, but we do know the compound includes three separate structures and sits on a double-wide lot. We can see the interior offers wooden beamed high ceilings in most of the home and an open plan living space. The fully gated, alarm equipped, and camera secured spread is made up of a fortress like building with three car garage and a loft like live and workspace, a second bungalow style structure with two beds, two baths, and a fully renovated interior, and finally a cottage like residence of unknown size and dimensions. Since Margot's purchase of the estate was done off the market, most other property amenities remain a mystery for now. Aerial photos show the residence does include a courtyard lap pool, grassy lawns, and tall hedges for celeb style privacy. According to sources online, after sharing a house with six friends in London, Margot and her husband Tom Ackerley bought a gorgeous home in the upscale Los Angeles suburb of Hancock Park back in 2017 for $2.73 million. Hancock Park is a posh and heavily desired neighborhood, especially among celebs. Other famous faces who call the area home include the likes of Mindy Kaling, Jennifer Lawrence, Ozzy Osbourne, and more. The transitional style house was built new in 2016 and features 3,300 square feet of living space with 5 beds and 5.5 baths. There are high ceilings throughout and walking in the front door you can notice the flowing open living spaces. There's more than one living area and each has its own fireplace too. The dining room offers blue paneled walls and an eye catching chandelier, while the bistro style kitchen is decked out in nearly all marble. Here there's also stainless steel appliances and an oversized center island. The home was built for entertaining and offers touches like paneled walls, metal doors, brass and chrome fixtures, Carrera marble and imported oak hardwood floors throughout. The bright master suite it has its own personal balcony and walk-in closet fit for a celebrity. The bathrooms in Margot's home are all gorgeous and full of sparkling marble, while the couple's ensuite offers dual vanities, a freestanding tub, and glass shower. Elsewhere in the home, there's a boutique-like wine cellar and a private dog or cat room with a separate entry door, which might be nice for Margot considering her and her husband have a dog named Boo Radley. The structure that looks like a garage on the property seems to be an entertainer's pool cabana, which looks to me like an open-aired hangout space. Out back, there's also a gorgeous fenced-in pool. Hi, AD. Welcome to Lucky Chap Entertainment. I'm Margot. I'm Sophia. Come on in. 
Aside from her homes, Margot has a gorgeous office space for her production company that she showed off to Architectural Digest last year. So she doesn't have to mix work and home, she and her partners crafted a collaborative space with a more domestic and stylish than your typical office. Margot's production company, Lucky Chap Entertainment, has a headquarters in downtown LA, and Margot and her business partners, her husband Tom, Sophia Kerr, and Josie McNamara, all weighed in on how to design the place. One area has a cozy couch with neon sign above it, likely a waiting area, while the nearby kitchen offers blue cabinets, vintage vibes, and white marble counters. Not to mention this space also doubles as a meeting room, a great alternative for the average stuffy conference room. The kitchen along with the floor plan of Margot's office was built from scratch and all partners agreed a nice, open, welcoming flow was important throughout. Margot's office has unique chandeliers, white themed ceilings, and a light airy vibe. The women's washroom and some of the other office spaces also have a nice feminine vibe with bright colors and what looks like to be a lot of pinks. We can see that Margot's workspace is just as important as her home and she likes wherever she's at to be beautifully designed. Margot doesn't only buy properties for herself either. Also last year it was reported that the Aussie native plunked down over a million bucks to buy both her mom and sister adjoining homes down under. According to real estate documents, Margot paid about 1.8 million US to buy these two new neighboring properties that are part of the same building, a gated duplex, on Australia's Gold Coast. She got them for her mother, Sari Kessler, and her sister, Anya, and Margot made the purchase through a high-profile Beverly Hills account. Not much is known about these homes for privacy reasons, but paparazzi did snap some pics of Margot's fam at the modern residence, as well as the family dog hanging on the property. This isn't the first time Margot has done something super sweet for her mom either. Back in 2014, she reportedly paid off her mother's mortgage as a gift for her 60th birthday. So what have you done? for your mom lately. Interestingly enough, the new place is only blocks away from the house the family once called home. Comparing with this place, the one Margot got them is a definite upgrade, featuring a fresh all-white paint job, sleek entryway, and privacy gates for when the international star comes home to visit. So now we've taken a look at Margot Robbie's homes, and I think I'll close up this house tour here. What did you guys think about her places? We saw the new spot in Venice Beach she picked up, and although there aren't too many details on it, it looks nice. We also saw Margot's main home in Beverly Park, her office Office and the home she got for her fam. I love the Beverly Park spot, the interior was super classy and not over the top. What did you guys think? Be sure to tell me what you liked or didn't like about Margot's homes down in the comments, as well as whose house tour should be up next. I also recently launched a personal channel, so if you want to get to know me better, watch my vid and subscribe, I'll reply to all my comments over there. Thanks for tuning in, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!